I'm in my happy place. I'm in my happy place. <laughs> Y'all, okay, wait. Let me do my intro. Hold on, I'm so excited. Hey good people, welcome back to Beauty in the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you're new or returning, thank you so much. Oh my God, I'm tongue tied. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me. Actually, I wasn't even supposed to do the intro right now, but that's okay. We're here for another mimosas and makeup. I have some wine and it is not in reach and that is okay, y'all. Let me tell you, I have not filmed since. So today is Friday. I think the last time I filmed was Sunday, last Sunday. That's a long time for me to not film. So like, I'm, I'm in my happy place. I'm excited for another mimosas and makeup. And today we are gonna do something that I have been wanting to do for a good old month now called Indie versus Indie. And today we are gonna be mashing up Natasha Denona Xenon with some Indie shades, y'all. I don't know how many looks I'm doing. I, I really don't know. I just know I'm happy to be here. Hopefully y'all can feel this because I am excited to be with my people, y'all. So, if you want to just play, we're playing today. We're not talking about anything that I just got. Well, it's kind of new, but you know what I'm saying. We got plenty of time for that because Black Friday, y'all. Anyway, if you want to just play today in some makeup, have a good old time, chit chat. Keep watching this video, let me know what you think. And if makeup is your therapy and your love, if it makes you happy and you want to hang out with someone that feels the same way, Definitely consider joining the community. I'd love to have you back. All right, let's get started. So how are you? Happy Thanksgiving, belated Thanksgiving. I'm excited, I'm back in town. I wanna say I feel like totally refreshed, but I don't, I feel, it, it, no, no, nothing's changed. You think a vacation would change something, but mm -mm. Um, I hope you all had it. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. August and Julius are playing in there and it's too big for me. It's too big for you. Yeah. What's too big for you? Oh, they're playing basketball. Well, you know what? Here's the deal. They're in a common space. Like when I was in school, we had this place called the common area. In the common area, that's where everybody could be. But if you didn't want to be in the common area, you could go in your own room. Do you have your own room? Why don't you go there quickly? I do not want to. You do not want to. You're going to go there. No, you're not standing here. Mm -mm. This is my time. Counting five. Okay. Yep, let's do it. I don't know. I don't want to go. I'm sorry, but I need to. But August, they're not upstairs. I don't want you to go upstairs. But I keep this is very dramatic and it's making my video really long. Oh, when you knock down my pillows, my Christmas pillow. I don't I even have a pillowcase on. I don't even have a pillowcase on. That's embarrassing. I was covering up that there was no pillowcase. But no, now see, now I got to get up. Uh -oh. I'd like you to make your way. Make your way. Oh, do you need me to count? One. Two. Yeah, you already knew, cause that you know was. Mm -hmm. Yep, cause that puberty is hitting hard, y'all. I'm letting y'all know right now. It is not fun. Let me go fix my pillow so it looks decent. Okay, back to what we were talking about. So I did blow out my hair because I'm getting ready to twist it so I can have the elongation. Because anyway, let me backtrack. We went to Puerto Rico for Thanksgiving and this is our new tradition. We went last year. It was great. I'm not going to have a whole vlog because I honestly did not record as much this time because I was really trying to just enjoy the moments. And I think that it, it was a great trip. But one of the things that I wish, or one of the things I have to remember is that kids are still kids. So when they come home, they still gonna be hungry. They're still gonna be doing this, you know, whatever. But I know that I'm contributing to some really wonderful memories that we're building together. I'm really, really happy about that. I, I will try to 
do something at some point where I show some snippets because I did have some video. The other reason that I, I'm really giddy right now is that I happened upon a video from Samantha March, I'm not finished it yet, where she just talks about her community and her people and how this community that she has on YouTube has really helped her through some really, really difficult times in you know her life especially in the past month in the past few years i was thinking about how youtube was an outlet for me to be something other than a mom it was a way for me to just be kara again and have something for myself even though the boys i know they're the stars i know but you know what i'm saying i still feel like this is mine this is my baby it just made me once again realize how appreciative i am of all of you and just how much I love this shared love for beauty and makeup and how it's gone like so much past that. It's almost like makeup has become a bit of an aside. I mean, it's a huge thing, but the other things have, have really become so valuable to me. And I just wanted to thank you all for that. I'm excited today because we're gonna be just playing. I have been wanting to do this video for a while, as I was saying, and it's all about Natasha Denona Xenon. I'm really fascinated with this palette, and since my video on this, which I'll link, and I'll link Samantha's video too, because I'm not finished it. it. It was just a little, it was just moving for me. So I, I just kind of relate to her as far as how I feel about my people here, y'all. So anyway. Tosh, me and her, we weren't aligned. Didn't have the vision, didn't have the foresight uh, to understand what this Xenon palette was about. And ever since the video, I wanted to bring it back out and do another round. Although I have a preliminary love for Xenon, and I can't say love because I haven't had it that long. I also think that this is gonna be a strong contender for one of the best companion palettes you can use, especially with indie shades. And I'm really excited because we're gonna explore a, a little bit of that today. We, we gonna get into it. Now here is Xenon. If you wanna see all the swatches, in addition to the shade definitions, definitely uh, watch my video because I go into all of that. And I did mispronounce one of the words. So thank you because one of you is a chemistry teacher. And the one I call superionic is super ionic. And I guess it's just one word, but I don't know. Something in me kept saying superionic. And now I look at it and I'm like, oh, duh. All right, so I just wanted to share that. I have a bunch of indie stuff just sitting over here. I have no idea which uh, shades I wanna start with, with as far as the indie stuff, but we're gonna just come up with like a base look and I'm gonna just do one on each eye for these. And then we're gonna just, we're gonna play. We're gonna play and see like, what can we mash up with this palette to make something spectacular. And before we get started, let me just tell you what I'm wearing on my face because I am almost finished my Lisa Eldridge foundation. I'm wearing my Dior Concealer, my Ben Nye Pink Powder. I'm wearing my Chanel Le Beige Bronzing Powder. And then I'm wearing, well, let me show you about the bronzing. Let me show you the bronzing powder. It's this one. And you see the Chanel's are starting to wear off. So y'all can tell I'm putting a dip in it. This is called Sun Bath and it's the deep one. Y'all remember this from last year? I think this was her holiday palette. This is called Beautifying Face Palette. And this is the Medium Deep Pillow Talk, of course. So I just uh, switched between these two blushes and then one of the highlighters, put that on. And then on my lips, I'm wearing a liner from Huda Beauty called Trophy Wife. And I'm wearing my Gucci Glow and Care Shine Lipstick in Call It A Day, which is a rosewood. So I just felt like this is just gonna match whatever we've got going. And I'm just playing, I'm not going anywhere. So we're gonna have a good old time. Now, I have on my NARS eyeshadow primer and we're gonna start with Flurry with the Sonia G Classic Crease Brush. I'm just using that to set down the primer and I'm taking it almost up to the brow bone. Probably could have just let this be a brow bone highlight, truth be told. Because now we're going into Snurt, one of my favorite shades. And we're gonna just put that in 
the transition and crease area because this is really going to be about how we can use this with our indie shadows and how these can be a match made in heaven because i i see it y'all i really see it oh let me know because the natasha denona black friday sale is happening of course xenon is not part of the sale which is annoying but let me know if you shopped her sale uh, the codes don't stack. You don't have a code. The frizz face code will work with Natasha Denona for 15% off, but obviously not for Black Friday. She's not doing the stacking thing. Tasha is not. All right, we're going to go into a deep shade. I think it's going to be Sposh. This one here. This is a, I want to say, yeah, this is a cream to powder. I'm going to keep using the Sonia G and we'll see how this goes. Because I already have an idea of the two palettes I want to use uh, at least for today y'all gonna be excited because i'm excited i'm so like happy honestly with the misleading pictures of the xenon palette because it was looking like all blacks variations of white and then you know this pop of pink and i'm so glad that everything was more muted than that and that there is no true black because i don't really need a true black and if I do, I have a nice black from, I mean, I have several blacks, but I have a beautiful black from Natasha Denona from the Biba palette. So like, I don't need any more blacks from Natasha Denona. There's a black in the My Dream palette that I somehow broke, which really annoys me. Every time I look at that palette, I want to buy a new one because that shade is broken. Let me know how y'all feel about that. And I feel like that about, you know what other palette I feel like that about? My Natasha Denona bronze palette because my shades Rhodium and Deep Dive are broken somehow. And I want to buy a new bronze palette and a new My Dream palette. But that's just real petty. No. Excuse me. Uh-uh. Watch my palettes. For some reason, you bypass the stairwell, the staircase where there's a bathroom at the top you bypass that every time i love how like this I can't I'm trying to think because i want to make this let me just try to blend it out a little more because i want it to be a little blown out you know that ethereal grunge maybe take a little more of snurt maybe do that yeah see just blow it out okay yes now so when I thought about this indie versus indie mashup, when I got home, I was like, I'm just going to grab everything that comes to mind. Now, of course, you can probably mash up anything, you know, with anything. But there were certain palettes that I was like, yes, yes. So y'all today, these first two looks, we're going with Adept. Because how could you not? I mean... But what adept is the question? <laughs> because this, friends, is going to be gorgeous. Now, the question is which shade? I want to go with Zor L because. Now, I know I just used Zor L. I, I just used Zor L with my Miss Frizzle look. Who's to say we can't use it again? Everybody that's watching right now. I want to tell you something. Get on your knees and beg for mercy. I'll just go sit down. Because that was too much. What? Like, for what? Get on your knees and beg for mercy. I'll just buy. Now, or else. We're going with Zora. We are not subscribing to your channel. What? You're not going to get the new palette that my mom has. Bye! She, you're not going to get the Freddy Krueger palette. Ha! First of all, I didn't get the Freddy Krueger palette. You, you're not going to get the Michael Myers palette. Oh, I did get that. Hey. <laughs> oh. That's the second palette. That's the packaging from the second palette. Okay, wait, though. Wait, though. Wait. Because Zor L would be great. Sorry, y'all. I don't mean to disappoint y'all. Do you want to do this one? No, we're not. You know what? Let me... We're not going to do that because the second Adept palette I use has a lot of those shades. I've got a plan. So let's do Zor L. That's going to be the preliminary. No. I'm going to stop talking. Okay. So this is a yes. 
we're gonna tame this down a tad with Kara Zorel or Kara Zorel I'm not sure but that's what we're gonna tone it down just to taste and let's see it's gonna give it a little oh yeah a little more brightness in addition to some more shimmer and shine this would have been a really beautiful halo eye as well yeah I like that now we're not done with xenon so let's go back into sonya g and let's go into sposh again let me see something it's too late to make it a halo eye but i kind of want to put a little more of sposh here and a little more here i like that and i like just playing if i redid this i would have made it a, like a true halo eye but that's okay now let's go into snurt because you know we're just doing the inspo thing here so i'm taking a what's up beauty pencil brush going underneath the lower lash line with snurt and then i'm going to take my hourglass veil i'm gonna go into stellar for the inner corner wait, wait. and we're gonna just give it a little spray there yeah all right, let me know what you think. I know my lips don't match now at this point, but ignore that. What do you think about the look? What do you think about that mashup? It's like fire and ice. Ooh, Game of Thrones. I actually kind of like that. All right, cool. We're gonna go into look number two. Do we wanna start with Blizzard? Mm, Blizzard makes me nervous, but we're going to. We're gonna start with Blizzard because look number two, I think we wanna try to have a little frosty little vibe you've been on my mind i'm right, stop sorry that is so annoying y'all every time i do it i get annoyed i'm gonna switch brushes to a bristles beauty eo1dl brush i'm just going over the transition area with that shade it's gonna be a little frosty situation going into snurt because y'all know that is my shade snurt is like the everything shade for this palette but we just try and get it out the way so we can get to the next part moving on sonya g mini booster into ebb which is this navy on the inner and outer corner oh i love me some ebb y'all like this is so pretty do y'all see how this is catching the light like oh, i can't Definitely would have enjoyed like a more nude lip. I might try to put something on top, but I might not, we'll see. I'm going into the outer corner. Matter of fact, we're gonna just take it all over the lid. This all over the, I'm telling y'all, like I did not see the vision, but see, I once I used the palette, I saw the vision quick. There are some palettes that I don't see the vision for like a whole year, but nope, I got the vision quick, like Circle Loco. I, the vision, me and that vision have never, we've never uh, gotten it together. But this one, once I did, what did I do? Three looks, the vision. Hello, what's up? So, did it, weren't you offered dessert already? No. You weren't offered dessert? No, no one offered you dessert. No one said, hey, Marky, would you like dessert? Uh oh. No, I'm asking. Uh oh. Oh, August coughed. Did you get dessert? Did you get ice cream? No. I oh, okay. Hmm. Talk to me. More. Did you already have some? No. Oh, sure. Are Starburst one of the candies being banned? Let me know. Cause Skittles are out y'all. Um, you know, California banned the Skittles. They banned the Little Bites muffins. So I'm on, I'm, I'm on track with that. Mountain Dew, I don't, we don't consume that. And I think something with Lucky Charms and I'm, whatever they're banning, I'm banning. Beautiful. I'm trying to think, do I want to use the glitter primer again? Which I think I do. Oh my gosh. Like just an all matte look. Like, didn't anyone tell you this was an all matte party? So I'm just taking a little bit of this and we're gonna just dab it in the middle. You know what? I have to say, that might be one of my favorite shades like that I've ever seen. Is that a stretch? It might be a stretch. Reaching? I don't know. All right, I said we were doing a depth, so we're doing the 
Seahorse palette, y'all. And uh, I'm in the process of, of gathering <laughs> all of my 2023 palettes. And this was one I forgot about. I was like, oh my God, I got all these Adept palettes. And you know, and you know I did order the um the element, y'all. I ordered that. So, hmm, what a predicament. There are so many choices, and I just feel like this is right away I was taken to these blues here that look kind of similar. We have uh, Jaya cars. I'm not sure. I think that's this one. And Fig Me Thorny. One of these I think is going to be fantastic. And then one of these for the um, inner corner highlight. Let me just see. One of these blues, now that I'm really looking, has more of a... It's hard to tell, y'all. I am even going to try to do it here. But looking here, one of them... The purple shift is a little different. It's like pink in it. And I think it's this one here. And that, my friends, is the one we're going to use. We're going to go into Jaya Cars. Into the middle. Oh, y'all. Do it. This is what we've been asking. Okay. So see, now I'm like, okay, now I see how we can use the seahorse palette you know because i never came matter of fact i never used the seahorse on my eyes i didn't i did a swatch video where i swatched oh my gosh that is embarrassing embarrassing as my friend akil would say i swatched the seahorse shades which took a lot of work okay i wasn't gonna do a look because i swatched them over a, a a black base as well as just on my arm so yeah that was a lot let me go back into this again this is pretty i don't even want to put anything else on top just a little spotlight there that's like icy night sky see but tasha if you had a shade like this in here but that's okay we can always come to adept for this we can that's why we love adept okay gorgeous and we want we got to keep the shimmer going from a depth we have a plethora of other shades that we can use courtship courtship is 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 the one i think because that that's a nice inner corner why does this watch keep going like didn't ask but thank you because <laughs> i didn't even really swatch that that wasn't even a real swatch that was a play swatch you know I have to save my thoughts for my little end of the year video with these palettes because they're definitely coming out with some magic. Okay, y'all. Yeah, yeah. That's so pretty. All right, so we have look number one with our House of L, Fire and Ice. And then look number two. What are we going to call look number two? The Night King? I mean, I don't even know. I don't know. I don't even know. I'm making stuff up. I'm in a Game of Thrones mood. I should put Game of Thrones on. Because I see Game of Thrones is something I can watch because I, I've watched all eight seasons so many times. I can put it on and we will just be content. You know, I don't have to like watch, watch. All right. I am going to get my liners and my mascara on and we're going to talk about these looks and then we're going to do some more. All right, y'all. I'm back with the finished look. I had to pull my hair away because it was just doing too much. It was starting to frizz up look y'all oh my gosh so excited so here are both looks house of l and then seahorse and to finish off the look i use none other than victoria beckham liner in the shade navy noir so it's a navy matte blue and then I use my Pat McGrath Dark Star Mascara. And you know what's crazy? I was using my Thrive Cosmetics and I was talking about how much I love that. But then my Pat McGrath <laughs> Dark Star came in and I started using it again because, you know, I'm not saving anything anymore. And I was like, is Dark Star my favorite mascara? It's been a while like since I used it. But ever since I got this order in and started using it, I cannot stop using it. It is so good. Mm, and I did just put this lip on top of what I already had on. I didn't feel like taking it off. And I just wanted to stick with Natasha. So I love this shade. This is a I Need a Nude Lipstick. And it's the shade 
Yana. And I think this goes perfectly. It's like cool tone and so it'll look. So yes, y'all, first two looks. I, I gotta come back for more. There are more looks to be had, but definitely let me know which one's your favorite. I gotta go with this one. I, I do. Now, it's not that I don't like this look, but if I had done this look with this style, the halo fashion, and then kind of diffused out Zor L in the middle, and then had a little bit of the, you know, other shade, whatever I had, snurt or whatever, whatever, had that on the inside. Y'all get the point. I think that might have been my number one, but y'all look at me liking a blue look. I'm not to wear this. I'm going to brunch with my friends. No. For brunch, maybe I'll do another look. So anyway, let's get to this next look, y'all. I'm really excited. Let's do it. All right, you guys, it is Saturday. So that was Friday night last night and absolutely love the looks, really did. Um, it is Saturday and I'm actually about to go to brunch with my close friend group. And this is the only hairstyle I could really come up with, but I think it's super cute with these earrings. I kind of have, I'll show you the outfit. Um, I just kind of threw it together in my mind and it worked out. And if it didn't, I was gonna make it work out um, because it's been a morning. First, I have on the same basis yesterday. I'm really squeezing every little inch of the Lisa Eldridge foundation that I have. And um, I started, I, I wore my, um, the NARS All That Glitters palette, the blush one that I just died for. And that palette to me is not really good. I'm sorry. Like maybe I'm not using a dense enough brush situation. And, and I think that's what it is. So I'm not gonna say it's not good, but it's not my afterglow palette. So that's what I put on top. I just mixed a bunch of colors and highlighters. And I'm wearing Sally Soft Honey by Gucci that I need to put in my bag. And I have a little KKW Beauty liner cause they're still going strong. All right. Uh, yeah y'all y'all be seeing how like my mood <laughs> is gonna be changing from day to day i i just i'm i'm really worried about marky so i'm not gonna get into a whole thing about it because i just don't want to be upset but i'm just i'm worried about him and I, I don't know i just i feel like he's moving backwards instead of forwards with progress and then the puberty thing i'm getting a lot of aggression i'm getting a lot of um, stubbornness and I know this happens to kids that don't have autism so I'm not trying to make my case special or um, different or like you know outstanding like you know outstanding like it's not normal I don't know the word I'm looking for but I think you know what I'm trying to say but I think for parents that have kids that are neurotypical it's tough too and and this is tough as well so I'm just I'm really looking forward to this brunch. Let, let's focus here but I just, if my energy seems off at all, that is why. And I'm happy to play with this makeup. I'm actually running late because I'm taking the boys to my, my mom's. But I'm like, you might as well just wait until you're good. Like, because I don't want to, driving's already a thing for me. And I don't want to make it more of a thing by not being in a good headspace. So, we are with our next look. And I'm just doing one look. And um, I, hello, August. That's cool. I'm a little sad, but it's I'm okay though. But no, I'm okay. Everything's gonna be fine, so don't worry about it. No, I'm, I'm glad you're worried, but I'm I'm good. And he's been really like in tune lately, and then I don't want to put that on him. You know, I don't want to put that on him. So I try to disguise it the best way I can, but sometimes I can't. We're I'm um, gonna go ahead into this What's Up Beauty R104 brush, and oh, I didn't even tell y'all the palette, y'all. Oh my gosh, I have to do my whole thing with the palette. If this, if this ain't gonna cheer you up, then what will? And as soon as I decided to wear this shirt, this is from Gap, by the way, I was like, Mothman. And look at this. Because this palette definitely goes, I just have my like jeans, ripped jeans. I'm gonna wear my um, black denim Converse. Ooh, Converse got me all. Like the 50% off, it was 40% off and they were about to get me. And then I just got uh, into my email, 50% off. I'm like, I got four pairs of Converse, it's $461, that's crazy. I can't wait to show y'all the colors. I'm going into Flurry, that's this shade here, mm, yeah. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put this just all over in the transition area. Oh my goodness, y'all. See, this is why I need y'all. Because sometimes it's just rough, it is rough. Got in the shower and I don't know if I talked about it before, but I listen to Mel Robbins here and there. I haven't listened to her in a little bit. 
But every time I kind of get into this funk, I feel like oh, I could do a whole video about this. Sometimes I feel like I'm the person that's doing all the saving in life with the boys, with teaching, with students. You know what I mean? And I chose all of this. So it's not like uh, it, this is my nature. This is who I am. But what happens when you're the one that feels like they need to be saved? You know what I mean? That's where I'm struggling because that's how I feel right now. And then, you know, you listen to Mel Robbins and she like, girl, no one's coming. No one is coming. And that is the honest to God truth. The only person that can do it is yourself. And, you know, it, it's sad at first, but it's motivational for me because it's like, I don't know, I go back and forth because it makes you put put on your your, your big girl underwear or whatever. But then it's like, I get so frustrated that I always have to have these talks with myself to get myself back in a good space to put on the big girl panties. You know what I mean? It's so frustrating. Like, why does it have to be like that? You know? So I started listening to it again. I don't know how many times I've listened to that same exact podcast, but sometimes that's what I need. Going into the Sonya G mini booster. Why is it called a mini booster? We're going in the night sky. So, you know, I'm, I'm using a lot of the same shades, but, you know, the point is, like, how can we use this as a companion palette? And see, loving how you can just use Night Sky as this beautiful uh, matte, uh, shimmery matte, you know? It's a shimmer, but you know what I'm saying. It's not a sparkle, so, you know, I do this a lot with Pat McGrath as well, where you can uh, use the shimmers as mattes, like the more satiny ones. I wouldn't even call this a satin shimmer, but that's gorgeous. Yeah. So, yeah. No one's coming, y'all. No one's coming for me or anybody else. So, it's like, I got it. I need an action plan, a game plan. Sorry, that was a little bit of a Debbie Downer start to this segment. But I have to, like, y'all are my people. Like, I just feel comfortable sharing because I know I'm not the only one. But it's, it, it's hard sometimes because sometimes I want to be the one that's inspired. I want to be the one to be saved. I want to be the one to be like, yes, honey, help, like, please, I'll take it, you know? But it's not coming. Now, it, it doesn't mean that people can't help you. It doesn't mean that there aren't people that can assist you or be part of the journey and you, and you don't have, I'm not saying you have to do it all on your own, but I gotta have a game plan. But sometimes I just don't feel like it. I'm tired of having a game plan. I want someone else to have the ideas. And I feel like that a lot in life. And it's 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 hard. Like sometimes I want to be inspired, you know? All right. Well, speaking of this look though, this is is inspiring. I'm gonna go into Snurt, which is like probably my favorite shade. I'm gonna use that to uh blow out the outer. See, I'm glad I did this video. Stuff like this, it makes me feel so creative and so unboxed and one of the things I, I really want to get into doing like more like um I don't know just try different looks you know the other shade I want to use is uh Contrail that's this one here let's see just to blend it out and blow it out even more oh yeah but I think I was saying like I want to get more into doing some different like I don't know techniques I really love blown out like ethereal eyes lately but yeah but i really want to get good at like like really good at blending and creating the gradient and i, and I love that like with this palette i'm finding ways to use shades i just never thought i would use like i never saw myself using contrail for anything anytime i've seen shades like that in palettes i've just kind of not used them doing snurt again just here on the inner corner and uh, i'm about to like get some boxes or some containers because i'm gonna box all my palettes from 2023 it's more than i thought i have to say this is probably going to be a favorite spoiler alert so we'll talk about that during christmas or at the end of december i'm not sure it depends because i have more than i usually do 24 days of christmas but i have more than 24 ideas of videos it's just i don't know if i have the time as far as like uh, being able to film everything, but I'm gonna do my best. Like I honestly could have a video every day if I wanted to. Like I'm just always like, ideas are always popping in my mind. I'm gonna go into Blizzard with this Melt Pencil brush. This here, and I'm just feeling like 
this snowy. I mean, this is as close to snow as I want to get, y'all. I'm letting y'all know. I'm not into snow unless I can just look at it and don't have to go in it. Like, that's, that's as much as I want. I don't really plan on taking vacations to the snow. No skiing. I don't have those types of aspirations. Don't want to ice skate. Don't like ice at all. Broke my leg on ice. Um, falling on ice. So, no. Good on that. And to this day, I still have a fear oh, of ice. Is this how you write your signature? Oh, you, you, you choose your signature. I'm practicing. Oh, that looks good. They can see it. Uh -huh. I'm riding everyone in my family too. It's coming along. I I I love that they even teach cursive because y'all know that's the thing of the past. Can you tell me Sposh. who else is in my family besides these people? I can tell you in a little bit, but I can't tell you right now because we're going to ready to go. Oh. But I can give you some more names. Right. Okay. Did you do River? Yeah. Oh, okay, I figured you did. I did like everybody the me every main people. Okay, all the main people. Okay, yeah. I'm in, I'm here for it. I'm really taking my time with this look because I'm just, I gotta get my life right. That's kind of the basis. I know all the bases of the looks are kind of coming out the same, but that's okay because I know I'm doing different things and oh my gosh, that is just such a perfect canvas. Going into Glimmer Grass because I gotta have this little peace of mind before I go. I gotta find peace of mind. Y'all remember when Lauren Hill had that album, the Unplugged album? I really liked it a lot actually that's when the album came out around the same time as um erica badu mama's gun that's another one right there i might need to listen to those when i drive i don't know lauren hill that's that's more emotional because that peace of mind song woo, honey no i can't do that i can do mama's gun though mama's gun we're gonna do that on the way you know mothman is probably one of notoriously morbid's uh, best color stories hands down and it's a palette i skipped just because of the packaging phenomenon nom 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 gray base duochrome y'all already know love those i kind of wanted to pick up my shirt a little bit this is give me them bangs and that's the one i'm going with you see it right there it's got a little gold in there a little olivey situation and the the glimmer grass with these shades. It's just the way it changes because the notoriously morbid formula is a bit dry. It's dry and sparkly. And I think it just depends on the finish that you want to have. I prefer smooth. And the glimmer grasp really does that. And look how you do that. Like the warm and the cool. If you want the sparkles back, see how you can build it up. And then you'll get a little more of that pop back. I, I need it to be smooth. That's I didn't really get that about the Taurus anymore but for a minute. But that's right there. What are we going to call this look, y'all? I'm going to call this look Sunny Gloom. It's like, you know, when you see that sun peeking out the clouds, but it's still kind of uh, gloomy out. I'm sure there's something better than Sunny Gloom. Y'all let me know. What was I talking about? Uh, Game of Thrones with the last looks? Was I talking about Game of Thrones? I can't remember. Lannister Gold. Let's go back into the uh, Xenon palette because I want to go into Snowbow. Snowbow is the quote unquote pink color. It was not really that pink. Kind of glad it wasn't because again, that would have meant that all them other pops would have been black and white and gray. Not these like beautiful. You know what? I'm going to listen to Natasha to know this video about this palette because I need to just, I want to hear the thought process because this is insane to me. I mean, I like this better than any Natasha Denona palette I've gotten this year. I just never thought I'd be saying that. I'm gonna go into Victoria Beckham. Let's see if she's sharpened, girl. She's not. We might try to make it work. I was gonna do ash. So I'm just taking black today. I'm gonna take the black. I don't have a sharpener <laughs> available. Now I'm like, damn, I should have paid the $2 and got the little sharpener on the Victoria Beckham liners, but nope, I was trying to cut corners, and but you know I'm glad I did. Because <laughs> I have plenty of sharpeners, I just don't feel like getting up. Y'all have to let me know what you think. I am gonna get my mascara on, and I'll be right back to tell you how I feel about this baby here. All right, y'all, I'm back with the finished look, and I really like it. I just used my Pat McGrath Dark Star Mascara, so let me know what you think about this third look. 
oh, I could just go on and on and on. I'm definitely going to do probably two more. Let me show you the outfit. I got to figure out something with the hair because I'm not really, this isn't my favorite, but you know what I'm saying? Everything can't be your favorite. So hold on. The outfit is though. <laughs> so yeah, this is the outfit for the day and I've got my little Converse's on and um, yeah, I'm feeling it. It's like real chill. It's cute. Got a little dressy shirt on, but I like the ripped jeans. My knees are hurting too, y'all. Ah. I was trying to do that water challenge. Mm -hmm. Nope, not happening for me. This is the dry challenge because there's, there's no no water happening. All right, I don't know. I, I did that already. So um, I'm going to get these kids dropped off and get to brunch. And we're going to get into two more looks and then I'll wrap it up. All right, y'all. It's Saturday night. I had a nice day. I was very thankful to meet up with my friends. And these friends I've had, man, for a long time. So, you know, I'm just so thankful for good friendships. Yes, I hope we can get together uh, more. Let me tell you what I ate though. Catfish. First of all, for appetizers, we had fried shrimp deviled eggs and bacon deviled eggs, crab poppers, and then crawfish spring rolls. It was good. So we split those. There were uh, mimosa pitchers. Those were kind of weak. So I got a Hennessy margarita. First of all, I don't even drink Hennessy, but a Hennessy margarita sounded so interesting and I doubt I'll go back to that place because the service wasn't great, but the food was, unfortunately, yeah. The appetizers came and we asked for uh, small plates and they were like, for everyone. And I'm like, well, we're all eating. I mean, that'd be nice. Little things like that. <laughs> for my entree, I got catfish and grits and they were so good. Today, I just feel like, blah the older i get i cannot tolerate heavy food the way that um i used to so yeah after tomorrow i'll be back on my regular eating because you know it feels nice to like splurge and have things that you don't normally eat but at my i don't want to say my big age who says at my big age I feel like it's Audra. At my big age, I, I'm just starting to be sensitive and it takes me like, it takes nothing for me to start feeling like, ugh, you know what I mean? Anyway, I did refresh my makeup. I'm squeezing out whatever Lisa Eldridge foundation I have left. And I use the RMS blush in Sangria. And on my lips, y'all, I have this Pat McGrath Venetian Peach. It's from the Bridgerton collection. Remember these? The ones that don't feel as luxurious as the ones of the past. This is a really nice uh, little shade. I didn't use a liner or anything. So anyway, that is not why y'all are here. We are here for the mashup. Now, I had a choice because I'm only going to do uh, two more looks. But I was going to use Harvest Moon, but... There's a palette I want to use a little bit more than Harvest Moon. It's an oldie, but goodie. And I need to check on her to see if she's still good, actually. <laughs> and it is the All I Ever Wanted palette by Unearthly Cosmetics. And y'all, when this palette came out, this type of all shimmer palette in, in my little makeup life was unheard of. I just think in general, this was unheard of. And I was like, oh my gosh, 20 shades, 20 duochrome shades. And I remember her swatching all the shades. I had never seen anything like this before. So um, I'll have to do a whole video, maybe a do we still love her or something like that. Cause I do need to go through and swatch and see, you know, how these uh, shades are holding up. I definitely got this, was it 2020? And you see it still has the, alien cosmetics logo on there have y'all watched uh, well i don't know if anybody's watched the whole thing because it's long I, i'm only like 58 minutes in but heather austin's doing an eyeshadow palette collection video i've always wanted to see her collection and i don't know if she does this every year but i am just so intrigued so yeah uh, this just made me think of it because I think I got to the point where she was showing her an earthly uh, palette. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. I am excited to pick a couple shades. Let's do a combo of Snurt and Flurry using the Sonia G Classic Crease. You know, the base for these always kind of start out the same. And I'm going to do that on both eyes, actually. I see some of my shades in my uh, All I Ever Wanted do look like they're 
They have a little hard pan, but it's nothing. A little bit of tape can't fix. Going into Sposh on the outer corner. All right, let's get into the um, the All Ever Wanted palette. Let's go into Planet X, this one here. So let's swatch in and see how she's doing. Okay, yeah, that's looking good. Yeah, let's put that on. Uh, I didn't use the Glimmer Grasp, I forgot. All right, that's looking good, okay. On this eye, or the other eye, <laughs> let's see what uh, Europa looks like. It's been so long since I've swatched this palette, for real. Ooh, ooh. These are similar, but not, right? I don't know if I wanna go with that. I actually wanna take that shade, I'm gonna put that on top here because this one's a little shiftier. Let's turn it down. Okay. All right, but that's looking good. I like that. Now on this eye though, I think, let's check out Just Landed. This one, Just Landed would be a nice choice. And this palette is way past discontinued. I think it might've come back a couple times and then there was a volume two, which I did not enjoy volume two as much as, volume one is just the OG because like I said, I had never seen anything like this before. I'm just loving how Xenon is working with all this, this uh, indie goodness that we've got here. I definitely know that I want to go into Sphinx. Oh man, okay. The Squishy Shades Passion, Alien Princess, Sphinx. This is the one that looks like it's got a little hard pan on it, but I mean, it's still, you know, there. But let's uh, check out Passion. Let's see, still, still squishy, so that's good. These are gonna be the wet, real wet looking ones. See that, look at that. Then we have Alien Princess. These are real like, um, I mean, they're, they're nice by themselves, but they're like great toppers. They have like that wet shine. Sphinx is probably the, <sighs> all right, we're definitely using that for one of them. I'm, I'm gonna put Sphinx on this eye. I mean, it's like galactic goodness. Again, they stand on their own but it's almost like they have that transparent base. So it's gonna be really nice as a topper as well. I mean, look at, all right. That's just very nice. I mean, let's see what Uranus looks like. Ooh, Uranus is pretty. I wasn't sure what color, you know, shades like this, it's hard to tell what color shift is gonna have. That would be a nice inner corner highlight. Ooh, oh my God. This side. I think I'm gonna go into passion for this side. Man, it's crazy. Like, I feel like going away, we did so much last week and then you know, you come here and it's like, oh, I gotta do my Walmart grocery order for the week. I gotta plan out on dinner. It's like, I won't say like it never happened, but you know, like Thanksgiving break, Christmas break, these breaks go by really fast. That's why it's so important to not wait for a break, you know, to do things. You, you can't do that because then you make your brakes all packed and pumped and then you need a break from the break. I don't feel like that. I'm just saying, I'm really trying to um, uh, scatter my, my joy and I call it sprinkles of joy. But, but, but friends, let me just tell you, we, we're, we're done, I told you, done with sprinkles of joy. Let me uh, tell you about my new concept while I do the uh, lower lash line. And uh, I had to write this down and I put it on my computer because me and my coworker, Madison, we're always coming up with little sayings like, we're just starting to write them down. Oh, we, we're, we're done with the side dishes of joy. We're done with that. We need the, the main course. Joy needs to be the main course, not the side dish, okay? I'm tired of it, because right now, even like right now, I still feel like my joy is the side. I'm over that, y'all. We were, no more side dish joy, okay? If I come up with something cute or cuter to describe that, I'll let y'all know. But yeah, I'm done with that. I need, I need the joy 
to be the main course, okay? Going into Snurt, because why not, for the lower lash line. I'm using the Singe Beauty brush, which is actually a really unique brush. This is called the E01 brush, and it's cute. And it's got, you see it has a point there? So you can use it for the lower lash line, but you can use it for, you know, other things too. It could be a shader, you could get in a crease. You know what I mean? It's, it's multi-purpose, uh, so I like that Angie came up with that that's a cute concept i don't have a brush like this at all this is the only one in my collection i'm really um happy with how these looks are turning out and just how my palettes are holding up over time mm, i love that and i'm gonna go into my uh pencil brush i'm gonna get my pencil brush and figure out what we're gonna do for the inner corner wait oh highlight I don't know what that was. Inner corner highlight for look number one is gonna be, we're gonna do skift for this eye. So then we have to come up with the plan like, how do we make joy, happiness, and you can't, everything can't be happy, you know what I mean? But we can still have happiness be the main, the main dish, you know what I'm saying? Like, or attempt. So now we have to figure out, what does that look like? Yeah, so I gotta figure out, how do we do it? How do we, scatter um everything around the 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 happiness and joy shoot oh god no no my mothman and i lost my mic but we didn't lose any shades okay oh no my divina shades fell too oh my gosh harvest moon <laughs> make sure everybody's okay they're good we're good let me just check out my divina shades lord you know what i've decided and then i'll put my mic back on i gotta pack this makeup up it, it, it's, it's out of control beauty room's not done it's been a two-year process oh gosh the divina shades are good so i think i'm gonna pack everything up by brand and sit it in the basement. I gotta get it together. Because for some reason, this was this morning, I think when I was talking about no one's coming. No one's coming to do this basement either, girl. Like you gotta plan it. So I feel like my, I've been waiting in a way for, for some imaginary person to take the initiative. But no, like my mom said, you're the Calvary. I love that. You're the Calvary. You're the hero. Y'all about to see this basement come together. For real, y'all about to see it. I'm not just saying it anymore. Um, this is not giving me what I need in an inner corner highlight. So you know what I think I'm gonna do? I wanna go matte and I'm gonna go into Contrail. Uh, I just don't feel like working with it and it looks like it's getting a little hard panty. So no, this is a little bit better. So that's a little, a little speck of brightness. Now for this side, I'm gonna use rhyme. Yeah, skiff just, I don't know, just wasn't skifting for me. Mm -hmm. Do y'all see this? Can y'all, cause I see it in my mirror. Let me turn this down a little bit more real fast. Cause the shift in here is, see something. Okay, no, that didn't help. What, what, what did that do? Nothing. See it right there? That right here. That is so nice. And this is so nice. Hmm. Let me know, do you have all I ever wanted still? And do you use it? I would love to know. I'm going into Fig by Victoria Beckham. Also, they did reveal, because I was talking about uh, in the M program that <laughs> new makeup releases. I was waiting to see what blends was gonna do, what that collab was gonna look like, and they did reveal it. So curious about what y'all think. Let's discuss in the chat. I am gonna purchase it. It didn't look how I thought it was gonna look. I'm not mad, but part of it looked how I thought it was gonna look. It's gonna be interesting to uh, create looks with that. And th this is the same way Xenon got me, cause I was like, mm, let me see what I can do with that. And wow, Xenon really, I'm telling you, Xenon really uh, surprised the year for me, I think. I'm like, ooh, I should film something else after this, but I'm tired. And I, I'm not even organized to film anything after this. It's like a wasted look. So these are the last two looks. Um, I mean, the combinations with Xenon are endless. And you know, when I'm looking at all I ever wanted, I think this which shade is it, this one, Antares. This would have been a really great one um, to use with Xenon. Look at that. 
that would have been really cool oh my gosh basilisk feels like i just got it oh my gosh now basilisk is in the lore palette let's just swatch neptune just woo. like these these are, are holding up really nice i am really impressed frolic frolic is in um that's in fairy frolic i believe frolic would have been cool like a little orange and gray real smooth this one feels this one feels a little a little dry but nah it's, it's still the performance is still gonna be fine let me look at atlas real fast atlas is a duochrome look at that Oh my gosh, like every shade would be great. Jupiter, this is a cute little like toppery shade we could put on top of any of these and um, it would be really nice. Yeah. Uh, let me just give you my final thoughts about this indie versus indie mashup. I I'm glad I came up with this idea because the thing is, as much as I really do love Xenon, I can actually say it's a love at this point now you know you're still somewhat limited in the the color story but just look at what we did in this video just by adding one additional shade if you have singles this is a great way to pull them out i know well i can speak for myself i love my singles so much but they don't get the use um you know that they really deserve and that's where the byop video comes into play so just taking a shade and saying, oh, you know what, instead of using Skift or Snowbow, you know, I'm going to use XYZ or just taking one of your favorite shades from a different palette. I mean, you can really create unique looks that are just very, very special. I, I really like uh, mixing the mainstream with the indie. They're, they are, they're, they're perfect. It's perfect for each other. And um. You know, sometimes you may be in the mood for just using the palette as is. And sometimes we may need a little sprinkle of something else. And I hope that this video gave you some inspo uh, for how you can take Xenon and like really, really amp it up. And you could even take uh, some of the shades from Xenon that are like toppery, like uh, Stellar, like that. And even add it on top of, you know, one of the indie shades just to give it uh, more of that, that wet effect that this one has. See, that's stellar. Where is it? Where's the shade, the orange one? If I, I don't know how this is going to look. I'm just talking now, but you know, if I took stellar and put it over top. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Actually, yes. I, I know what I'm talking about. Like, look what it did to that shade. Oh, you got a little custom shade. Now that, now I feel like I gotta do, yeah, see Stellar's amping, amping it up a little bit actually. So you can take your indie shades and then, you know, the uh, Tasha shades and, and amp them up and endless possibilities y'all, endless possibilities. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video and I hope that even if you don't have uh, this palette in particular, that it will inspire you to, just do your own little palette collabs you know because uh again this color story was just one that i did not think i was gonna love and i think these looks have been like some of my favorites of the year like these you know they're not really summery looks they're definitely wintry looks but just for this time of year especially this is great like i said this is as close to snow as I want to be and, and I prefer it I, I really do thank you so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me for another mimosas and makeup I do have my wine now just a little bit a little sip I hope this was therapy for you thank you for listening because I know in the middle there I was a little I don't call it a Debbie Downer but you know life is a roller coaster this is like my everyday life and um I again I, I do hope this was therapy for you because it definitely is for me and until I see you again make sure you are being gentle with yourself talk to yourself nice stay safe stay safe <laughs> and you know I'm gonna see y'all in the next one bye oh,